during the month of April and I will be doing like a little mini review and then let you know if I will repurchase or not or if it was a dead item. So of course first of all I have my Apple Original Clean Toilettes, Facial Washing Toilettes, Makeup Remover, whatever you want to call them. I get them at Big Lots for $2.50. They are comparable to the, um, the Ponds and I will be repurchasing those. I just did in a haul. You would have seen where I got like five bags of them. Next, I have a product from Soft Soap. This was the Ultra Rich Shea Butter Cream Moisturizing Body Wash with Moisture Beads. And you can probably see in there the little beads that were supposed to be moisturizing. And I actually ended up very much enjoying this. I think I will definitely think about repurchasing this brand, the Soft Soap did not irritate me in any way shape or form it smelled good it was moisturizing so I think that was a good product another bath wash that I finished or shower wash shower gel was from tone and this was the star beauty awards from 2013 and this is the fruit peel the alpha hydroxy fruit acids body wash daily exfoliating I didn't really feel like it was exfoliating. I mean, it didn't have any scrubbing beads or anything like that. It was just a straight out, you know, creamy shower gel. And I would think about repurchasing this. It smelled good, it didn't irritate. And I did see this at Big Lots the day that I picked up my facial wipes. So it's still available, just maybe not at local draw, um, drug stores or Walmart. You may have to look for it at Big Lots. Cotton rounds. This is from Swispers. This was the 80 count exfoliating cotton rounds. I did not care for these. They had a tendency to start to shred while I was using them, so I won't be repurchasing those. Finished my Garnier cleansing oil. This is the nourishing cleansing oil uh, for dry skin that had the jojoba and macadamia oils. And I found this at TJ Maxx quite some time ago, but I just now got to it in my rotation and now I have found out that it's been discontinued so I can't repurchase it unless I find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or someplace like that and if you do find it it is a really good cleansing oil especially if you have dry skin and it was $3.99 so the price is right on it also I just can't get it no more I hate it when companies do that Toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White Whiter Teeth in One Week. Um, I have another tube of this because I bought a double pack. Actually, my husband bought it. He didn't like it, so he tossed it over to me. I didn't care for it either, but I am going to finish the other tube, but it won't be a repurchase. It had too much of a grit, a grit and a um, baking soda taste to it. I did not like that. have a shampoo and conditioner. This is from the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Conditioner and Shampoo. I have repurchased these and I have really quite enjoyed those. So, liking those so far. Have a couple of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula Peeling Pads, the Step 1 and the Step 2. And I just get, get these at Sephora when I make an order if they have them as one of their um, samples that you can choose I always choose those or if it's a hundred point perk I always get them that way I haven't actually purchased them but I do like them and they're really good it's just a little um, like a little cotton square that has the formula on it you wipe it over your face you wait for two minutes and then you do step two wait for two minutes and then you continue on with your skincare. You don't rinse them off. And I really do think they help with um, exfoliation. Do like those. Have one of my retinol items here. This is my Trentinoin cream in the .05 that I per, uh, finished. It is a prescription. One of these lasts me probably like three months because I don't it only takes like a pea size of it and I don't use it every single night because my skin can't tolerate it every night but anyway 
finished up a perfume. This is the Clinique Happy. This was the smaller bottle. This is my all-time favorite perfume. Have purchased it over and over and over and over again for the last, I don't know, 15 years at least. Love it. Every time I wear it, people always ask me what I'm wearing. I smell good. It just works with my body chemistry and I definitely will be repurchasing and keeping that in my rotation. Finished up this little guy. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin um, Concealer. This was in the color Fair Neutral. I really, really did like this concealer. Would definitely um, repurchase. I also, just a little tip, if you have something like this, take the stopper out. Just pop it out and you can get another couple weeks worth of product out of this before it's completely done. If you don't take the stopper out, then you're not going to be able to get every last drop out. So take your stopper out. Let's see. Oh, this little guy, this is my um, beauty sponge from Ulta, the Real Techniques. I really do like this sponge better than I do the Beauty Blender, but it just doesn't last as long. I think it's because it's so soft, but I like the fact that it has this angled edge plus a pointy edge and you can just see mine is just like torn to shreds i was going to wash it but i'm just going to throw it away so but you can see it is definitely been through the ringer so i'm going to be getting rid of it definitely will repurchase that i had purchased some during ulta when they had some double packs and i had a coupon code so i have three more backups so I'm good on that a little sample size of the wish shave cream and I actually did like this I normally don't like shave creams at all but I did like this I would consider purchasing it but it's so expensive um, I just don't know just don't know on that and another shower gel that I finished, this is my Clinique body wash that came in this, it was a little gift pack, and I did finish that. I'm not too crazy about it. I mean, the scent I love, but because of the perfume in it, it really did irritate, so I'm not going to be able to repurchase that. And let's see, some of the stuff in here is a declutter for a declutter video. Okay, this guy I did finish. This is the Lemurance Anti-Aging Vitamin C Eye Lift Serum. I found this at Marshall's. It was okay. I didn't really care for it. I'm not going to be repurchasing that. And is there any other things? Oh yes. This guy here. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I do not care for this, um, primarily because of the wand is huge. I mean, look how big that wand is. And it's just too big for my eyes, and I always would poke myself with it, so not going to be a repurchase, not a fan. Then I have this guy here. This is from the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And again, not a fan, not going to repurchase. And it had the rubber wand bristles on it, I think. I liked the size of it. The size was good. I wish the Better Than Sex Mascara had this size wand on it instead of that great huge one. But anyway, not going to be repurchasing that. And let's see, was there anything else in here that I actually finished? Yes, this guy here. Why am I saying this guy? Uh, anyway, this is the Ola Henriksen, the Lemon Strip Flash Peel. Just a little sample. And it's just a product that is like a chemical exfoliant. It was clear. It was like a gel. You put it on your face. You left it on for 15 minutes, and then you rinsed off. Definitely had a lemon smell to it and definitely had a little bit of a bite or tingle to it so you could tell that it was working. A good product to have. I haven't purchased a full size of this. Seems like I can always find them in like little gift packs or when Sephora does, you know, put in a code with a $25 purchase, I've gotten them that way. But it's a good product. 
And let's see, it looks like the last thing that I have to show that's an actual empty and not a purge item. Oh wait, no, I have two. Anyway, this is from Tatcha. Tatcha. And this was a facial moisturizer and what is this called? This soothing, smoothing triple recovery cream. I didn't care for it. It wasn't that great, I didn't feel like. It was kind of a blue or purplish tint. There's like a big long hair on there. Um, for the price of it, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't recommend purchasing that. Okay, it looks like I have about three more things to show you and then we'll be done with this video. Um, this is from Lush. It's the Rose Argon Body Conditioner. You've seen these in several of my empty videos. I had got a bunch of these at Christmas time in different various gift packs. Um, as far as purchasing it on its own, no, because it's very expensive. But if it came in a gift pack, then I wouldn't be mad about it. But um, it's just one of those products that you put on after you've taking a shower, you leave it on for a couple minutes, then you rinse it off. Smells really good. I love the smell of it, which I love rose, so anyway, have that. I'm going to be actually saving this because I think if you get five of these little containers, you can take it in for a free mask. Then I have this. This is from the Brow Revive Thickening Serum. And I'm not for sure what brand this was. Oh, wait, here it is. Sculpt. Sculpt Face. It was found at Marshall's or at TJ Maxx. More than likely Marshall's. Anyway, and it had, it was a serum, and then it had this little brush applicator on there. And you just put it on your eyebrows at night, and it was supposed to thicken them. I didn't see any results from this at all. Matter of fact, um, I'm using a organic, um castor oil that I heard Trisha from A Glittery Life talk about and I have seen more results from that in like a couple weeks worth of using it versus using this for three months so don't don't waste your money on that and then the last thing I have is this little guy here and this is from the um, First Aid Beauty line which is one of a line that is sold at Ulta that's probably one of the least expensive lines that they carry but it isn't a very effective line so don't be scared of it because you think it's not good because it's not you know tons of money but it is this is the hydro firm sleeping cream and of course you know you just put this on as your last step in your beauty regime at night and leave it on all night long and then get up the morning the next morning wash your face and it was really nice it was very moisturizing left my face nice and smooth and just felt hydrated and plump and would definitely consider getting that or possibly even looking for these little sample packs again anyway okay so that is it for this month's empties which i think i went through quite a bit and I do appreciate you sticking with me and let me know in the comments below some of the items that you have been finishing up and if you would repurchase or if they were total duds. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.